Yo, what is going on, everybody? This is Samuel Brown, aka RBT, coming at you with another Madden 16 Draft Champions Challenge video. And today, as you see in the title, we're going to be doing a full Big Ten Conference Challenge video. And obviously what that is, is I pick a player out of every round that went to a Big Ten team. And just like the SEC Challenge video, not every round is going to have a player from the Big Ten. And if that is the case, I go with the lowest overall out of that round. And if you're wondering why it says I have zero coins in the top right corner, EA needs to fix this Draft Champion stuff. So I went to go record on my main account this episode. And it wouldn't let me reset my draft. I had to wait 24 hours. Like, what? Are you kidding me? Like, is that is that really necessary against, especially when you're playing a friend? So I had to make a second account to play my subscriber for today's video, where I'll just have no video today, and we can't have that, right? And a quick little update, there has been improvement in the mushroom tip. It's looking a little bit more normal than it was yesterday. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, go check out yesterday's Draft Champions video. I had a little story time at the beginning of that video talking about what happened to my mushroom tip. So go check out yesterday's video, which was the Screw College Draft. And with that said, why don't we go ahead and jump into this draft. When did Lovey Smith become the head coach of Illinois? So we're going with Lovey Smith. None of these guys coached or played in the Big Ten. And Lovey Smith had a few stints as positional coaches for both Wisconsin and Ohio State, but now he's the freaking head coach for Illinois? What the heck? Like, honestly, when, when did that happen? So we are going with Lovey Smith with that selection. Now we're getting into the real important part of this draft. Going into round one, I'd honestly love to just know off the top of my head some of these guys. And of course, I have no idea. I know Kenny Vaccaro went to Texas, so I'm going to have to check these two guys. So of course, round one is a fail as it was in yesterday's video. None of these guys played in the Big Ten. Closest, I guess, would be TJ Clemmings. He played for Pittsburgh, which is kind of in Big Ten territory, but that doesn't fit the rule. So we're going with the lowest overall, Kenny Vaccaro, which is actually still a pretty decent card, so I'm pretty happy with that. In yesterday's video, we didn't even get an offensive lineman, so hopefully that won't be the case today. And these guys, I know Mark Herzlick played at Boston College. I have no idea when it comes. Well, Shaq Thompson played at Washington, so unless it's Osa Mele played at a Big Ten school, we'll be going with Mark Herzlick. So like last round, he was in Big Ten territory. He played for Iowa State. Iowa is in the Big Ten, but Iowa State's in the Big 12. So... Both rounds have been a fail so far. Come on, EA, help me out with the theme of the video. So we're having to go with the lowest overall again and Mark Herzlick. So that sucks. He was actually one of my favorite players when he played at Boston College. That's pretty cool. Matt Ryan played for Boston College. That's another ACC player. Lane Johnson played at Oklahoma. That's a Big 12 player. And Julian Edelman, he played at Kent State. At least I knew all three of these guys. So we're going with Julian Edelman. Man, give me a Big 10 player. That's nine players. Nine players, and none of them have been from a Big Ten team. Now, Steve Smith, not sure where you played. I know, okay, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't know where these two guys played in college, to be completely honest, but I do know Ted Ginn played at Ohio State, and he's a really good receiver. It was great for me in yesterday's episode. I did draft him, so I'm going with him once again. So now we have two really good wide receivers, so hopefully we don't get any more. Choices, choices, choices. Charles Woodson did, in fact, play at Michigan. I knew that. Mike Neal played at Purdue, but he's a high overall. Charles Woodson isn't really fast for a free safety, but neither is Mike Neal fast for a linebacker. He has better stats, but you know what? I think I'm going to go with Charles Woodson just because he won the Heisman at freaking Michigan as a defensive player, although he did have, was a returner as well, but I had to go with him for that. And we are screwed once again. Not one of these players played in the Big Ten, so we're going with another wide receiver as the lowest overall Jordy Nelson which I guess we have three really good receivers but we better not get another one and the chances are we will get another one and here we get two offensive linemen and a right in Cameron Jordan I'm, I'm honestly oh Taylor Lewan I know he played at Michigan I know he did so I think I'm gonna go with him I'm a Titans fan obviously I'm not honestly not sure if these two guys did play in the Big Ten but since I know Taylor Lewan did play the Big Ten and I could take a left tackle I'd probably pick him anyway so, yeah, we're going to go with Taylor Lewan and now move it on to round eight. I'm proud of myself for knowing a lot of these, honestly. I know Xavier Rhodes, he played at Florida State, right? CJ Mosley obviously played at Alabama, which I would honestly love to get him. This is the second time in a row we have to pass up on 96 CJ Mosley. So I need to check on Jairus Bird, and he played at Oregon. So we have to go with the lowest overall, which is Xavier Rhodes, but I will definitely take a cornerback, and he's 6'1", so pretty good. He has 69 catching, though. 69. <laughs> so let's go into the next round. 
we get Daryl Smith. I know Larry Fitzgerald played at Pittsburgh. I'm not sure about Daryl Smith or Jonathan Joseph. So Daryl Smith played for Georgia Tech, Larry Fitzgerald for Pittsburgh, and Jonathan Joseph for South Carolina. So we have to go with the lowest overall, but we have a tie between Larry Fitzgerald and Jonathan Joseph. And I would, honestly, if we had gotten Larry Fitzgerald a little bit earlier before we had three wide receivers, I'd pick him because he's 97 spectacular catch. A 96 jumping, too, which is great for an 84 overall wide receiver, but I will take a second quarterback in Jonathan Joseph. So I, I still got the pick there, although we didn't have a big 10 player, but kind of hope we can get a good one here in round 10. And I know Shane Sko played at Stanford. Not sure about these two guys. So all I had to do was check once in Tamba Holly. Am I pronouncing that right? Did go to Penn State, and I'd rather pick him than Orlando Skandrick because I already have two cornerbacks. So I am going with him, although, oh my god, 75 speed, 88 hit power is okay, and he is the only elite here, so we're going with him, at least he was a big 10 player. Now moving on to round 11, we get Arian Foster, played at Tennessee, Sebastian Vollmer played at Houston, not sure about Brandon Graham. So we get lucky, but then again, we don't get lucky, because Brandon Graham played at Penn State, so that is a big 10 player, but we just picked a right outside linebacker in the previous round. But I probably would have rather got him than Arian Foster because, oh, do we, we don't have a running back, do we? Oh, man. I was thinking we already had a running back. Crap. Well, I guess that actually sucks. So completely forget what I said. Although I think out of all of these, I'd rather gotten Sebastian Vollmer. But it is what it is. And we're going with the theme of the draft, which is the Big Ten draft. So that kind of sucks. Although we could play one of them at middle linebacker, probably. And out of these guys, I know AJ Hawk. Did he play at Ohio State? I think he did, and that could be big because he could play middle linebacker, although we have a million linebackers. I know Carlos Dunlap, pretty sure he played at Florida. Not sure about Will Allen. Choices, my friends. Choices. We have two guys that played for Ohio State, A.J. Hawk and Will Allen. We already have a strong safety, a good one in Kenny Vaccaro, and we have A.J. Hawk, which actually has really good stats. I'm surprised he has 65 speed. I And we already have three linebackers, though, although... I'm not sure what those three linebackers overall would be at middle linebacker, so I think we're going with A.J. Hawk, which I think I'd actually like him more than either. I think I'm not going to start Tamba Hali because his speed is so bad. So I'm pretty happy with that pick. So we have three to go yet to have like a really, really good player. And here, I know Joe Flacco played at Delaware. Jacoby Ford played at Clemson, so it all comes down to Jordan Cameron. I kind of really hope Jordan Cameron played in the Big Ten team. I do not want a fourth wide receiver in Jacoby Ford. Please, Jordan, I'm begging you. I'm begging you. Jesus, he played at USC. So, welcome to the team, our fourth wide receiver. So, two rounds left. Have yet, yet to get a running back or a quarterback. So, that sucks. Nick Fairley played at Auburn. I'm not sure about these two guys, which I kind of prefer Chris Canty here. So we're kind of lucked up in this round. Raheem Moore played for UCLA, which is in the Pac-12. I guess Pac-10 at the time. He was there. Nick Fairley from Auburn. And so we're having to go with the lowest overall in Chris Canty. And that actually works out pretty well because we do not have a defensive lineman yet. So that sucks. But at least we get him, although his speed is just pathetic. 68. Now we're going to the last round. We need a quarterback. Do we really not get a quarterback selection the whole entire time? I think we were only given two quarterbacks. Joe Flacco and who's the other one? Matt Ryan. And they both weren't from the Big Ten. We could have gotten Tom Brady. I was going to pick Christian Okoye because we don't have a running back. Although he's more of a fullback. But, I mean, 99 carrying. That's pretty insane. 99 trucking. I was so excited to pick him because I would have got to choose if nobody was from the Big Ten because they're all 93. But, of course, Ty Law has to screw around and go to freaking Michigan and play at Michigan, which means I have to pick him, which also means I have to get another cornerback, which obviously he's good, better than the two guys I have, but I'd rather have got a running back, so we don't have a quarterback, or we don't have a running back, we have 17 wide receivers, 17 players in the secondary, 45 linebackers, and one defensive lineman, I think maybe just one offensive lineman, look at that, look at that, that is pathetic, that's worse than yesterday's episode, we had an 82 and I thought that was bad. So this is the starting offense, man. It just looks pathetic. No tight ends, one offensive lineman, no running back. Oh my, this is bad. And I think what I'm going to do at quarterback, I was going to see if we had any players from the Big Ten that was already on the generated team, and we don't. We have Michael Vick, who played at Virginia Tech. Andy Dalton played at TCU. So I think the smart thing to do when it comes to this series, or this episode that is, is go with the lowest overall, because that's how we were doing the draft and everything if we didn't have a Big Ten selection. So I'm going to do that for the quarterback position because I think that just makes sense. We're going to be using Mike Lennon at quarterback. 
And I think our defense is okay, aside from the defensive line. We have Jadavion Clowney, though, at left, and that's pretty good, although I didn't even pick him. So, I mean, the defensive line could be better, but it's not completely awful. Our linebackers are pretty good, although I think I'm going to start Mark Herzlick over Halley at left outside linebacker. Our secondary is okay. I mean, we got Charles Woodson and Kenny Vaccaro, some pretty good cornerbacks as well. Ted Ginn at kick and punt returner. So, I'm liking our defense. I like our special teams. Not so much our offense. It's going to be awful. It's going to be hard to score, but let's try to win. This would make three straight episodes that I lose. Third time's a charm. Let's get into it and not have to give away 20,000 coins to another subscriber. If this guy's watched my last two videos, he knows the first play of every game I throw the ball deep to a fast receiver. Did I? Yeah, because I really said flip the, flip the play. Jesus Christ. Oh, God. Oh, my God. He's going to get there, isn't he? Oh, oh, it works again. That's why I do it every time he beat Darrell Revis. He beat Durrell Rebus. Ted Ginn, man, is an absolute legend. And with that said, what a throw from Mike Glennon. Like, he was kind of rolling backwards. He kind of stepped into the throw the very last second and threw that ball like 60, 70 yards on a dime for a 74 overall quarterback. That's pretty good. Please, please, pick. Oh, God, he's going to be wide open. Oh, oh, pick. Yes, yes, Ty Law, the legend. 99 yards. 99 yards and 20,000 coins ain't. I, I need to. I, that, I don't know where I was going with that, honestly. Honestly, I have no idea. I kind of wish I didn't score a touchdown there so I could cut that part out of the video. That happens so much, honestly. I say such dumb stuff that I just don't even show you what happens because I don't want anybody on the internet to see it. And I kind of wish that was one of those moments, but unfortunately, I have to put that in the video. Can we stop him? Oh, God. Pick, pick, pick. Yes, there we go. Charles Woodson. The legend. Oh, oh, yep, there it is, baby. Kenny Vaccaro, our third pick. Like I said, I really enjoy throwing streak routes to fast wide receivers once they're in the slot. So let's try this one out and see if we can get past the safeties. Oh my god! I'm glad my offensive line decided to quit playing on me there. Another interception. Charles Woodson, second of the game. It's already four interceptions, guys. This secondary is just playing out of their mind. I want to try something, boys. I want to try something. You're going to make fun of me, but I want to try something. Seem like the whole city go against me. Every time I'm in the street, I hear bitch down. Man down. Where you from? <laughs> <They were. laughs> oh my god. I didn't even see anything that just happened. Does that make up for yesterday's loss? Does that? Let me know in the comments below. Does that play right there make up for my fail that cost me the game? When I dabbed and missed the field goal, which would have put the game away. That's pretty epic. I kind of wish I knew what happened on the play or how he caught it. It might have been an epic catch. He might have just been wide open. Can we get a safety right here? This would be the first one. I, did I really say QB contain a safety? Jeez, like I said, I pointed it out at the beginning of the video. We had the right outside linebacker, Javion Clowney, which was on the generated base team at defensive end. And you just saw his speed right there. I mean, God, he just destroyed his right tackle. No, 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 Charles, Charles, please. Charles, I'm begging you. Charles, Charles, Charles. Watch him come back and beat me now. Just watch. If he comes back and beats me, I don't even... No, 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 uh-uh. I ain't believing it one bit. Not believing it one freaking bit. Can we get a... He's gonna get it right here, right here. Yep, 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 he won. GG, go ahead and give him his coins. Can already feel the tides turning, boys. And it's not, it's not going in my favor, I don't think. Like, he, what the freak is my line doing? A bunch of paper plates. Last episode, last episode, it was a bunch of goddamn paper plates in my secondary. And let me explain it again. Pretty much, pretty much. It's like, you get five paper plates, just regular paper plates, not plastic plates, paper plates, put five of them where the offensive linemen are supposed to be, and there's no difference in performance because they're absolutely just a bunch of imbeciles. So let's just see what happens here. Oh, RB, you gonna make the catch, bro? Jacoby Ford, I was so glad when I picked you. So glad. What do I do? Right, bumper is gonna be open. Uh, never mind. Never mind. I forgot giraffes can't throw the football because they walk on all fours. I want to try it again because I want to make up for last episode and what I did earlier. It's just got to happen once. It's got to happen once. It worked. Finally. Finally. Now I can just stop for good. Somebody give my secondary paper plate shots at halftime. Obviously. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Charles. Charles. Pick. 
pick, pick. Charles! Charles, I know you're 95 years old, but your reaction time's gonna be a little bit faster than that. Now it's getting hurry up, and now I'm getting scared because I can't stop him. Oh, what? watch me lose this game. Yeah, I said Holly. Jesus, Connect is just an imbecile. Oh, God. Brandon, oh, God, why did I dive? Oh, what do I do? He's wide open. That's a touchdown. Oh, he dove at the one-yard line. All right, I'm settling out for the run. That's what the word I was looking for in last episode. I said settling for the run. I'm settling. Oh, never mind. I was going to run right. If he gets this, I might cry. This isn't happening. No. Uh-uh. This is not happening again. I'm honestly about to piss myself now. Scared to death. Genuinely scared to death. I said what? Remind me to turn the guy. Oh my god, no! No! Oh my god, he had a dude wide open. Where did I say watch run right? What the freak, EA? Maybe I should just stop talking, honestly, because I'm about to just give him the win. Oh god. Why? No, 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 no. Oh, dude, this isn't happening. Okay, I'm going to watch the running back right here. Watching the running back. Pick, please. Well, thank you. Oh, my God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I was about to have a heart attack. Oh, man. This just scares me every time he lines up to throw a four verticals because it's going to work one out of four times. Yep, because this dude's wide open. No! This game's honestly about to put me in cardiac arrest. Oh, oh, He's going to beat me. This guy's going to beat me. I cannot believe it. How is this even happening? Honestly, how is this happening? If he gets this, he's down by three. What? What the heck, dude? I'm, I'm honestly scared, dude. Like, like, is this a real thing? Like, is this game, is this a joke? Like, I picked that off. Thank God. Thank God. Now I'm up by five. Oh, why did I not go for an onside kick return? Thank you. If he gets this. Oh. Oh, if he gets this, he's going to get it, honestly. I, maybe I shouldn't look, because good things happen for me when I don't look. Do I have it? Thank you. Thank you, Mark Herzlick. For some reason, my linebacker's on the hands team. Y'all remember that scene in SpongeBob where he has, like, all these file cabinets in his head, and there's about a thousand of them, and he's trying to look through all the file cabinets, and he's just stressing himself out? That's what I think I'm doing right now. Like, my head's just spinning. Like, I don't know what to do. I can't concentrate. Cause I don't want, I want, if I lose... If I lose, please, Mike Lennon, make this throw. That could be big. No, don't run into everybody. Oh, I'm so close to a first down. Oh, my. Oh, my God. I'm not going to run a pitch because if I get hit in the backfield, I'm out of field goal range. And I am not dabbing this time. For God's sake, I am not dabbing and losing another game because of that. you got to learn from your mistakes in life and never dab when you actually are kicking a me meaningful field goal. Robert Turbin, please. I'm honestly begging you. He's going to get it. No, he's not. Oh, yes, he is. What? This is just too much. Oh, my. 52 yards. Should I punt this? I'm honestly considering punting this. I'm punting this, dude. Like, nah, uh-uh. I'm not giving the ball at the 35-yard line. No, no, no. Ain't not even a chance. How is this game even came to this situation? Honestly. Like, I wasn't I winning 21 to nothing? What the heck? Oh, my. He's going to have 50 seconds, dude. Like, what? Oh, I kicked that too hard. And my exit go out of the one. That's a great point. Oh, at the four-yard line, dude. Oh, man. If he wins this game, I'm quitting my just existence. Please. Oh, my God. He's going to win. I'm going to show you guys his whole entire drive because, well, probably his whole entire drive. 30 seconds. 30 seconds, guys. This is just absolute insanity. Like, ridiculousness. Throw it to the running back. I'm begging you. Oh, please, end the game. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No, I am not believing this one bit, dude. No. Uh-uh. 14 seconds. Oh, oh, my God. 10 seconds. This isn't real. This is not real. Oh, oh, my God. Good. Uh-uh. If he beats me. If he beats me right here, I don't even know what to say. Oh, how has this game came to this? Oh, my God, dude. My God. This is... Please, please, nah. Please, nah. Uh-uh. 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 What the heck? What is the actual F? What? What? You've just got to be kidding me.
kidding me? Oh my god! No way! What? 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 Guys, I'm at a loss for words, honestly. What the heck just happened? Honestly. What? I d I'm an idiot! I'm a god dang idiot! Oh my god! It, <laughs> oh my god! You've just got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me, dude. Oh my... This is the worst thing to ever happen to me in my life. Like, can you guys explain to me what just happened? Oh, I gotta bring this back for a touchdown to even have a chance. Oh my god! No way! No way! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh! This is the most insane Madden game of all freaking time! Holy crap! That you cannot, you cannot script this, dude. It all comes down to this. Oh, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Fire! Warm no! No! Oh my God! <laughs> oh! No. Okay, I'm trying to wake up from my dream. Because this is a nightmare. So you're telling me! So you're telling me! If I at least comprehended that they're about to recover that for a touchdown, I would have won that game on a return for a touchdown with two seconds left. I'm the paper plate now. How in God's name did I lose? It's like Madden knows my Xbox name and they like just are trying to help me help out everybody else and give them 20,000 coins. What the? F this is, I, there's no other game, there's no gameplay on Madden on YouTube. There's no other gameplay on YouTube that was that crazy. How did I just choke that game away? The third straight loss in this series. Like, for real? For real? I'm cursed, guys. Like, there's no other explanation. I'm cursed, honestly. Absolutely and completely cursed. Well, with that said, congrats, Slayer Dude 4, for making me look like an idiot and beating me after I was up 21 nothing. So, <sighs> calm down. He put up a David Orkin card for 20k. I'm literally sweating like that. Oh my god, that what a game. Like, I thought, honestly, you were going to try to quit. Not necessarily quit, but just give up. Because I was winning 21 nothing, And he came back and beat me. Like, you threw five picks. I would have been so pissed. I would have thrown my controller out my window. And now you're getting 20,000 coins from me for beating me. After I ran the kickback with two seconds left. After I gave you a touchdown because I didn't realize that you were about to recover the freaking kick for a touchdown. So, that that was just... What a what an ending. What a game. What a life of mine. Oh... I'm going to end the video because I need to go to a doctor and make sure my heart's still beating properly because it's broken in pieces. I'm sad. So with that said, that's going to end the video. If you enjoyed, be sure to drop a like. At least, I know I usually ask for like 7 likes, 5, 6, 7 likes. If you get 8 likes in this video to help mend my heart back together, that would probably make me feel a little bit better. That would just be fantastic. If you guys do want to be a part of this series, and if you are a part of this series, you're pretty much going to win 20k because I can't win a game to save my life. Even when I'm winning 21 nothing, I can't hold on to the lead. And just insane stuff happens. Wow, I still, I'm still just shocked. Absolutely in shock. But be sure to leave your gamer tag in the comment section below if you want to be a part of this series. Like the video. Be sure to follow me on Twitter to check for updates when I am recording for this series. First person to always respond to that tweet when I tweet out that I'm recording for this series does get to play me and win 20,000 coins because they're going to beat me. 
If you have any suggestions when it comes to challenges for the Madden 16 Draft Champions series I'm doing here on YouTube, be sure to leave them in the comment section below. With that said, be sure to subscribe to the channel. <sighs> if you haven't already, I will catch you guys probably tomorrow with another loss. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.